Good morning, Kenley. How are you? It's Mrs. Walker. I'm out here in sunny Florida in my backyard. That's why I got my shades on. The sun is really bright this morning. But I'm out here, first of all, to say congratulations to you. You were our chapter winner this week. I'm super proud of you. Way to go. You know what that means? That means that everybody else in the haunt read your chapter. They learned from you. They learned from you. And they voted for your chapter to be the chapter winner. That's super awesome. I'm so proud of you. And that's got to make you feel great inside. So way to go. Fabulous job. Now, the reason I'm out here this morning is because you were the chapter winner. That's awesome. But I want to challenge you this week, okay? We're always looking to improve our writing, to become better writers. We always want to say, okay, I did this really well this week, but next week I want to try that. Now, one thing I want to do with you is I want to add some length to your chapters okay your chapter two was awesome and I started reading it and I was really excited and then all of a sudden it ended and I wanted more and I didn't want it to end but it did so this week as you write let's add a few more paragraphs in there with some awesome details okay you had my attention I was hooked I loved it and then I was like oh man the story's already over I want to read more so let's try and do that. And one way that we can do that, Kenley, is through a strategy called show, don't tell. It's not called show and tell. It's called show, don't tell. And that's when we take the emotions that a character is feeling and we describe it up with lots of awesome details, okay? For example, if our character was really mad, we don't want to just say they were mad. We want to show that. So being mad looks a certain way. I might stomp my feet or clench my fist and wave my fist around or clench my teeth or my eyes might look different. They might be slits and I'm very, very angry in my face. My whole face would change. Okay, it might turn red to show that I'm angry, okay? Or if I was very frightened, I could describe that too. My eyes would be big and round and I would be trembling and I might hide if I was frightened, okay? Now, our story has animals in it, okay? So if you wanna describe your animal with show, don't tell, like with my dog, I have a dog, he's a German Shepherd, I have a dog and if he's scared, Instead of saying the dog was scared, I could say my dog's ears went flat. His tail tucked between his legs. He was trembling in fear. He circled my legs, pressing his body close to mine, looking for protection. Do you see how I described that up? Or I could do the opposite, Kenley. If my dog is very happy, what would that look like? What would that look like? Like when I come home from school, my dog is very happy to see me. How does he show me? How does he show me that he's happy to see me? He's wagging his tail. He's barking loudly. He's jumping on me. So I want you to take some of those characters in Mr. Pickle's pet, and I want you to try and use some show, don't tell. Show me the feelings that they have inside without telling me. Now that can be a bit of a challenge, but I believe in you. You're an awesome young writer, and I wanna see what you can do with that, okay? As well as the takeaway ending. So I can't wait to see what you're gonna do with this next chapter. I'm so very, very proud of you for being the chapter winner, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you're gonna write this week, okay? You have a super awesome day, and I'll be talking to you soon, okay? Bye.